In 1867, Kansas State University held its first commencement. Three women and two men graduated that year. As the first land-grant university in the nation, this fledgling university had a vision of providing innovative education to all people. That early vision has continued through to the present. With over 250 majors and a diverse student body, including students from all 50 states and more than 100 countries. Becoming one of the nation's top 50 public research universities by 2025 is today's vision for tomorrow. With academic programs among the best in the nation and professors who are leaders in their fields, Kansas State University is an international leader in teaching, learning, service, and research. Today's graduates join over 200,000 alumni who are proud to call K-State their alma mater. Congratulations, and thank you to all those who have supported them through their undergraduate experience at Kansas State University.
Please be seated. Good afternoon. It is my pleasure to welcome you today to the commencement ceremonies for the Kansas State University College of Engineering. My name is Craig Wanklin and I serve as an assistant dean in the College of Engineering. Commencement is an exciting time for the faculty and staff of Kansas State University. We all experience a sense of great satisfaction that these outstanding graduates are moving on to fulfill their professional goals, on to exciting careers in the service of society in this state, this country, and the world. We are all enormously proud of them and have high expectations for their futures. Before we start our program today, I would like to make a few introductions. Please recognize our musicians, the Kansas State University Student Brass Quintet. Let me also recognize the members of the platform party and please hold your applause until the end. On my far right, your left, Dr. Mustak Hossein, Head of Civil Engineering. Dr. Jim Edgar, Head of Chemical Engineering. Dr. Joe Harner, Head of Biological and Agricultural Engineering. Professor Ray Buell, Head of Architectural Engineering and Construction Science and Management. Dr. Betty Grauer, Assistant Dean of the College of Engineering. Tyler Aiden, Senior in Computer Science and Mathematics, our student singer for today. Alan Levine, owner, Port of Tucson, LLC, Cushing Business Center, Century Park Research Center, Tucson Frozen Storage, and Levine and Sons Construction Company. Dr. Darren Dawson, Dean of the College of Engineering. On my far left, your right, Dr. Bill Dunn, Head of Mechanical and Nuclear Engineering. Dr. Brad Kramer, Head of Industrial and Manufacturing Systems Engineering. Dr. Scott Deloach, Head of Computer Science. Dr. Don Gruenbacher, Head of Electrical and Computer Engineering. Amy Button Renz, President and CEO of the K-State Alumni Association. Trevin Sell, Senior in Architectural Engineering and our student speaker for today. Dr. Charles Tabor, Provost and Senior Vice President of Kansas State University. Dr. Gary Clark, Senior Associate Dean of the College of Engineering. Our Marshals are Dr. Ronaldo McGearing, Associate Dean and Andy Fund, Assistant Dean. Would all faculty members of the College of Engineering in attendance at this ceremony please stand? Please recognize these individuals with a round of applause. I would like to call Tyler Aiden, Senior in Computer Science and Mathematics, to sing our national anthem. Please stand.
Please be seated. The College of Engineering has enjoyed truly outstanding students over the years, and this class is no exception. All students who have survived the rigors of studies in our engineering, construction science, computer science, and information systems programs deserve recognition because they are very talented. This afternoon, I have the privilege of identifying a number of exceptional students for special recognition. We first recognize our summa cum laude graduates who have earned a 3.95 or a higher cumulative GPA on a scale of 4.0. This semester we have six. Would the following students stand and remain standing? Austin Bullinger, Matthew Hoffler, Aaron Jensen, Mackenzie Suderman, Lauren Wagner, Jacob Winter. Let's congratulate our summa cum laude graduates. Please be seated. Magna cum laude graduates are those graduates who have earned from a 3.85 to a 3.949 cumulative GPA. This semester we have five. Would the following students stand and remain standing? Corey Gaither, Abby Kramer, Brent Kroll, Nicholas Meyer, Jennifer Sparrow. Let's congratulate our magna cum laude graduates. Please be seated. Cum laude graduates have earned from a 3.75 to a 3.849 cumulative GPA. This semester we have five. Would the following students stand and remain standing? Kristen Jones, Dylan Kleisler, John Laughlin, Tanner Swoop, Jung Ying Tan. Let's congratulate our cum laude graduates. Please be seated. I must recognize one more important group before we move on to the rest of the program. Graduates, you see around you many people who have helped you, supported you, and encouraged you over the time you have pursued your education. These supporters include your parents, spouses, and children, and your entire family and friends. Graduates, please join me and give your loved ones a big and well-deserved round of applause. Thank you. At this time, Trevin Sell, senior in architectural engineering, will present the challenge to the graduating class. Trevin? Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Trevin Sell, and I'm honored to be able to share a few quick thoughts with you today at our commencement ceremony. First, once again, I'd like to thank all the friends and family that are here to support us, as well as those that could not make it and are watching on the live stream right now. In addition, I would also like to thank all of our professors, advisors, mentors, and anyone else who has successfully helped us make it here to this day as well. So just so everyone knows, I was given about two months to uh, write the speech, but that did not stop me from waiting until basically the last minute to even remotely start thinking about it, which seems about par for the course for my time here as an undergrad. Um, so I honestly had no, t no idea what to talk about. I looked up a bunch of stuff originally, and some of my friends had suggested that I do Fergalicious as karaoke, because I now seem to be pseudo-famous for it in the Ville, but I decided that that's not going to be working because I'd like to actually receive my diploma today. Um, so anyway, I tried to think of something that we could all actually relate to, not only while being here at K-State and getting our degree, but also after we leave here and begin our careers. One of my favorite phrases over the past decade or so of my life has been fake it till you make it or fake it till you become it or sort of whatever variation of that phrase works best for you. While this is lighthearted, it has serious implications that can change every single one of our lives. I like to look at the faking it part as being confident in my abilities while I'm still learning, even though I know there's a long way to go before I actually know what I'm doing. And while that learning is never truly done, I like to look at the making it part as when I'm finally comfortable in myself and my abilities. So one of the first moments that this applied to me here, and I'm sure many of you as well, was in that lovely building known as Cardwell Hall. Whether it was calculus, physics, or another class, most of us had a time where we were definitely faking it in there. Sometimes we did make it with relative ease, and other times we went and asked our advisors if Ds do in fact get degrees. Spoiler alert, they don't for most of us in this room. Hopefully you know that by now. 
Regardless of what our path was, though, to get through those classes, we still made it here today. Some of us have also had the absolute pleasure of sitting through a 7.30 on a Friday morning or any other day of the week, I'm not here to judge, after we had perhaps spent a night in the Ville. If you even made it to this class, you were already a winner. But then, if you attempted to learn as well during that class, it seemed like the greatest accomplishment in the world. Sometimes to make it, you just have to find that work and life balance like you're doing there. So regardless of what choices you do end up making down the road, just remember that skipping your 8 a.m. work meeting will probably have more severe consequences than sleeping through your first class. We also had a myriad of extracurricular activities that we participated in, whether it be SGA, Greek life, service organizations, music, and who knows what else. I know I'm not the only one here who may have occasionally oversold my responsibilities as an engineering student. Oh, but you don't understand. Since I'm an engineering student, I won't be able to make your meeting because I'll be in the lab all night because I procrastinated. So I'm sorry, I'm not gonna make it. Um, but while we struggled to balance all of our involvement in all of those extracurriculars, in all of those extracurriculars, because for some reason we enjoy overcommitting ourselves, we did it to make us better engineers and humans. It rounded us out and gave us confidence in our abilities that we could then directly transfer to every other aspect of our life. Many of us were also on design teams in one form or fashion. I can tell you with 100% confidence that I had absolutely no idea what I was doing through the majority of my time working on our project. Regardless though, I continued to, to push myself and try to gain as much knowledge as I could every day. And eventually we not only got through it as a team, but we excelled. It's amazing how when you're representing your department, college, and university, it sort of forces you to make it. The motivation is much greater when the whole world will see your work in comparison to just being able to settle for that B on that class project that won't really affect you in the long run. Many of us who also had internships experienced a similar process. Although we are spending a lot of time and money here at K-State to learn, it sometimes felt as though we didn't know anything we would step foot at a new job. It is generally another beast entirely in many aspects and requires a lot of working through different scenarios until you finally begin to grasp what you were supposed to be doing. As has been stated before, obviously a faking it till you make it scenario here for sure. And then this directly relates to what will happen when we begin whatever job we get in the future. It is all a learning and growing process that will translate to every single part of our lives. There will always be more things to learn about that we do not yet understand or know about, but as long as every single day we work our best to grow as engineers and human beings, that's all that anyone can ask of us. So whether your big next big life event is getting a PE, starting a family, getting a graduate degree, or anything else in between, you must never stop faking it. So always strive to fake it till you make it. Because one day, you'll look back on all that you actually have accomplished that at one time you were faking, and you won't believe how far you've come. It's sort of like the campus construction. It seems very inconvenient at the time and sometimes doesn't follow the exact schedule that it might supposed to be, but once it's over, the results are well worth the process. Our time at K-State was just the beginning and everything you experienced here has set you up for all the future opportunities life has for you. Thank you for your time and congratulations fellow, follow, fellow fall of 2018 College of Engineering graduates. Thank you, Trevin, great job. We are here this afternoon to bestow degrees on the candidates. We are also here to give you one last message and send you out into the world. And the best way to give you that one last message and send you out into the world is to hear from someone that's been right there in your shoes. Someone who's already been out in the world in a big way. And that's our speaker today, Alan Levine. Alan has serious street credibility. Alan earned a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering in 1969 from K-State. He served in the U.S. Air Force as a Titan II missile combat crew commander from 1969 to 1972. Before he started his own general contracting business in 1981, he was a project manager for EM Systems, as well as a project manager and engineer for Animex Mining Corporation, a uranium recovery plant. In 2001, he founded the Port of Tucson LLC, an intermodal and a logistics center that assists businesses with access to rail and transportation options. Allen serves on the board of the Arizona Cancer Center and financially supports local charities such as Child and Family Resources, Boys and Girls Clubs, Pima County 4-H, Christian Family Care, 
and Tucson Girls Chorus. But in spite of all his accomplishments and service to his university and his community, Alan would tell you that he never imagined himself up here speaking to you today because that's just the way he is. And in spite of his personal and professional obligations, Alan remains a lifelong wildcat. This fact is exemplified by Alan's induction into the College of Engineering Hall of Fame. Engineers and scientists join me in welcoming one of our own, Alan Levine. Well, wow, we made it. And I gotta tell you, when I graduated in December of 69, I did not go through the graduation exercise. I went back to Kent home on the farm, and then I enlisted in the Air Force. So I envy you being here to be a part of, the, uh, be a part of this uh, uh, graduation. So uh, it's great to be here. Uh, you know, grandparents, uh, I'm sorry, graduates, parents, and faculty, uh, we are here to recognize your accomplishment. Uh, looking back, I wish I would have done this, but I didn't. But my priorities are different at that point. Uh, but, uh, I pr you know, I'm sorry. It's important to take a, m a moment to appreciate the, the day like today because tomorrow begins the rest of your life. Uh, each of you have come from different backgrounds, uh, and you receiving this BS in engineering, your lives going forward will be different. I'd like to share with you a bit of my story and how I came to Kansas State University and how the mechanical engineering degree uh, that I earned here opened doors for opportunities I could have never imagined. Uh, I grew up in Kensington, Kansas, very few of you probably know where that's at, but it's about 200 miles northwest of here. And uh, it's about town about 600 people. You had to go 100 miles just to find something if you wanted to buy something. If something broke down, I grew up on a farm. farm I'm a farm boy. And uh, so if something broke down, if you didn't fix it, you know, nothing got done. And uh, I was the oldest of seven children, and uh, uh, you know, oldest of seven children. My father was a very industrious man and a great farmer. He farmed about 6,000 acres and uh, had about 150 head of cattle. And uh, growing up on a farm, for those who you don't know, being a farmer is a 24-7 job, and the cattle had to be fed twice a day. If you didn't feed them, uh, they didn't get fed. So uh, uh, there was no days off. And unfortunately, my father was al also an alcoholic. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, being the oldest of seven children, I pretty well took the brunt of everything. Uh, life was not easy. And uh, I had issues because of my childhood. And uh, going to high school, uh, well, it was a challenge. And I had no idea what I wanted to do after high school. Uh, about a month before my high school graduation, uh, we had a superintendent there. His name was J.S. Wagner. And, uh, there's a couple of people in my life that made a whole big difference. And one day, about a month before I graduated from high school, J.S. Wagner sent a runner down to my class. It was either American history or world, world history. It definitely wasn't chemistry, physics, or uh, math, advanced math. And uh, so anyway, I go to uh, the principal's office, and my only thought was, what the hell have I done now? And I, I just assumed I'd be in trouble. And uh, so I get to his office, and that, that summer or spring, we had taken these, uh, I think they call called SAT test, 
to see what your abilities are and what have you. And uh, so I went down there, and he had this graft. And he said, Alan, actually he said Butch. My, my nickname was Butch. And he said, Butch, where do you think you are on this graph? There was 19 in my graduating class. And I like to think I was a normal kid, and so I'm an average, if you will. So I put a dot in the middle. There was no names associated with that dot. So I picked that dot, and he showed me the results of the test. Out of the 19, it turned out I was the highest ranking, whatever, score. And uh, he was the one that said, oh, Butch, you need to go to college. And he also understood my life at home. My dad is an alcoholic. And uh, so I listened to him. The other person that was instrumental in my life was my grandmother, Martha Grauholtz. And uh, she also encouraged me to go to college. And she would actually say, you need to leave Kensington or get out of town. And so that summer, after I graduated from high school, and I've been doing a lot of thinking about what people have told me. So two of my friends were coming down to re-enroll for their fall or second, or second year in college. So I rode down with them. And uh, my wife was my high school sweetheart. But I did not tell anybody I was going down to Kansas State to think about enrolling uh, in college. Uh, so she didn't know, my mom, my dad, nobody. But I got down here, and uh, I had the oh, catalog that tells you all the things you can take and what have you. And I love to build things. And so I thought I wanted to be an architect. And I, I really did. So I go over to the uh, architect, uh, College of Architecture, and I sat down with a divisor and uh, had my transcript, you know, and I had my uh, ACT test, uh, scores. So he looked at my transcript and asked me a few questions. And then he said something that really, I mean, put me down. He uh, said, you know, uh, we will be wasting your time and, oh, I'm sorry, our time and your money if we took you as an, a student. And wow, I was heartbreaking. So I go back across the street to the Union, sitting there having a soda and whatever. About, about 4.30, I decided there's no way I'm going back to Kensington and uh, I want to go to college. So about 4.30, I go across the street there to Seton Hall. And at 4.30 in the afternoon, I walked up to the secretary, asked her I'd like to speak to someone about becoming a student. And she said, well, most everybody's went home. But there was one person that was still there. His name was Dean Derlin. And I tell you what, he invited me in. We sat down and visited. And he looked at my transcript. And it was awful. I mean, I took world history, American history, boys glee, band, uh, anything. Uh, I was a good football player, and the coach was the one that taught most of those classes. So he was going to make sure I'm eligible to play football. So anyway, so I'm talking to Dean Derlin, and he, we talked for about 45 minutes. I couldn't believe it. And he said, I'll tell you what, being an engineer, College of Engineering, you got to take a lot of math. I had no chemistry, no physics, no advanced math in high school. And he said, it's going to be tough. And he took me on as a student. Dean Derlin was my advisor for the first year in college. And thanks to Dean Derlin and give me the opportunity to go to college, Kansas State, uh, I wouldn't be here today. So uh, I've been very blessed and to have uh, someone like Dean Derlin part of my, my past. Um, so anyway, I. And no, the first year, I tell you what, that was tough. To get to where I could even take calculus, I had to take nine hours of math, college algebra, college trigonometry, and uh, anyway, but the nine hours that didn't even count toward my degree. And uh, so I did that. 
And then I finally got to calculus, chemistry, physics, and what have you. Uh, I, I, I kind of told myself, I, I'd like to get at least a C average. And I did do that my first year, my first semester. So I was, I was happy about that. And, uh, but looking back, I really love engineering. You know, growing up on a farm, I always knew uh, how things worked, but I really never knew as an engineer why things worked. And as I went through college and the closer I got to graduation, my last three semesters, I was on the Dean's Honor Roll. And who would have thought it? So uh, anyway, I really appreciated the opportunity to come to Kansas State and the degree that I obtained there. Uh, so one thing I'd like to, to for the faculty, take the time to visit with students. You don't know what their background is, where they come from, what their circumstances are, but give them the, your time to visit. For me, that was a lifesaver, Dean Derlin. Uh, anyway, excuse me one second here. Uh, at, during college, the Vietnam War was on, and in that point in time, if you could walk, talk, in a straight line, and you know, down the road, you were going to be drafted and going to Vietnam. And uh, I did not agree with the war in Vietnam, but I did not, I wanted to serve my country, so I enlisted in the Air Force. That's how I got to Tucson, Arizona. And uh, I was a crew commander in the underground missile sites, and uh, that's how I got to Tucson. And that Tucson is still home. So anyway, uh, anyway. The, the one thing I've noticed as a businessman in Tucson and other parts of the country is, you know, you, in college you learned how things worked, why they worked, and, uh, and you do your homework. And I do a lot of homework as a businessman, and you make a decision. But the one thing I've noticed about other people in business, a lot of people in business, they are afraid to execute. They're afraid to put their own time and money into what they've been doing their homework with. And so when you, ha you have a lot of opportunities that you can't even imagine at this point, but when you have those opportunities, do your homework, study it, Make a decision, but then most importantly, execute. Don't be afraid to take that step and uh, move forward. So uh, that's, that's the advice I would have for the graduates here. So uh, thank you very much, and I really appreciate the opportunity to be here and uh, actually go through the commencement ceremony. So thank you. Alan, we have a small token of appreciation. Thank you so much. Thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce Amy Button Rents, President and CEO of the K-State Alumni Association. Amy? Thank you, Dean Dawson. And Alan, we're very fortunate to have you as a graduate of Kansas State University. Thank you. I'm pleased to be part of your special day and offer congratulations on behalf of the K-State Alumni Association, representing over 280,000 graduates and friends who will be your lifelong K-State family. Today, as you receive your degree, we are excited to celebrate with you and your family. We are also here to welcome you into a new relationship with your alma mater as you begin this new chapter as a K-State graduate. Our mission at the association is to lead and inspire lifelong involvement that will benefit Kansas State University and all members of our Wildcat community. I would like to share three of the core values that guide us in our mission to help you stay connected with K-State. The first value is link. The Alumni Association provides the lifelong link that alumni depend on to remain connected. You can stay in touch through hundreds of alumni activities held on campus, around the country, and internationally. Another value is tradition. 
You will likely celebrate a few traditions this weekend as you sing the alma mater for the first time as a graduate or take KSU photos at your favorite spot on campus. You may also have fond memories of doing the Wabash at a K-State sports event or rubbing the nose of the bronze K-State Wildcat statue at the Alumni Center for good luck on a test or to ensure a Wildcat victory. As the keepers of traditions, we also hope you will have a chance to visit the Alumni Center to experience all the wonderful traditions that are kept there, including, including our newest addition, a stained glass mural designed by 2016 graduate Marcus Gilbert, which pays tribute to the beauty of our state and the K-State campus. The third core value is purple. For K-Staters, it's more than a color. It's a symbol of pride, connection, and family. When you see someone wearing purple or a K-State class ring or sporting a, someone sporting a K-State license plate, you will feel that sense of family. In recognition of your graduation, the College of Engineering and the Association are providing you with a complimentary one-year membership to the Alumni Association. We hope you will enjoy the membership benefits and continue to be an active member after your first year. K-State alumni are among the most loyal in the nation. In fact, our membership ranks number four among the Power Five universities and number one in the Big 12 for the percentage of graduates who are members. That loyalty is shared by generations of K-Staters who have the same passion for K-State that you feel today as you receive your degree from one of the finest universities in the nation. The Alumni Association is also pleased to present you today with an exclusive alumni business card holder. As you go through life and your titles and addresses change, please be sure to keep us updated. We want to make sure you are always connected to your K-State family. Congratulations and go Cats! Thank you, Amy. We will now have the presentation of graduates and conferral of degrees. Each department head, as introduced before, will present the degree candidates from their respective departments. The audience should feel free to applaud candidates as they are recognized. Will the candidates of the, for the Bachelor of Science in Architectural Engineering and the Bachelor of Science in Construction Science and Management please rise? Will faculty members Shannon Casebeer, Jim Goddard, Fred Hassler, Katie Lockmiller, and Jong Shul Song please rise to greet the graduates? Dean Dawson. It is with distinct honor and pleasure that I present these candidates for the conferral of their degrees. With degrees in architectural engineering, Yusuf Alharbi, Aifa Christina Kalanan. Catherine Elizabeth Clark. Ryan Michael Hellis. Jacob Andrew Lassman. Trevin John Sell. Lucy Anna Poplicar. Hunter Dale Wheeler. Samantha K. Scott, architectural engineering degree awarded posthumously and diploma received by her family. Our thoughts and prayers are with you. Let us congratulate our architectural engineering graduates. With degrees in construction science and management, Marissa Christine Axelson, Malik Robert Bieberly, Matthias Edwin Dahlman, Toby Leo Dominguez, 
Hassan Saeed Eskurja. Dalton Luke Harmon. Benjamin Dean Hofgen. John Joseph Hopfinger. Caleb Ryan Hauser. Courtney Nicole Jenkins. Jared Patrick Kirkland. Scott Michael Lindbergh. Brady Reed Myers. Luke Anthony Porter. Joseph Michael Patak. BD Ratana Rodriguez. Daniel Tyler Rawson. Eric Thomas Rourke. Charles Colton Skidmore. Spencer Weber Walker. Logan Allen Wells. Let's congratulate our construction and science managing graduates. Will the, will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Biological Systems Engineering please rise? Will faculty members Ed Brokish, Dan Flippo, Stacy Hutchinson, and Lisa Wilkins please rise to greet the graduates? Dean Dawson, it is with distinct honor and pleasure that I present these con candidates for the conferral of their degrees. With degrees in biological systems engineering, Blake Vaughn Brown, Cheyenne Elizabeth Day, Amelia Hope Harris, Tristan Xavier McAllister, Nicholas William Meyer, magna cum laude, Alexander Joseph Peter Nitko, Jacob Charles Peters, Jason Patrick Shear, Ezekiel Justin Swyart, Megan Tufel, Cole Allen Urban, Drew Douglas Young. Let's congratulate our biological systems engineering graduates. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering please rise? Will faculty members Andrew Duncan and John Sloop please rise to greet the candidates? Dean Dawson, it is with distinct honor and pleasure that I present these candidates for the conferral of their degrees. With degrees in chemical engineering, Allison Tully Crowther. Seth Colby Eccles, diploma presented by his father, Dr. Steve Eccles, Professor, Mechanical Engineering. Priyasha Fernando. Sean Paul Finn. Dylan Lloyd Kleisler, cum laude. Christopher James Kreiser. Yasmin Patel. Alexander Nicholas Westrup. Let's 
congratulate our con chemical engineering graduates. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering please rise? Will, will faculty members Eric Fitzsimon, Stacy Kalisa, Haider Rashid, and Scott Shea please rise to greet the graduates? Dean Dawson, it is with a distinct honor and pleasure I present these candidates for the conferral of their degrees. with degrees in civil engineering. Fuad Salim Alangerli. Abdullah Alansari. Frank A. Biamonte. Sweaty Bittenen Dalo. Amy Elizabeth Clark. John Morgan Davis. Drew Allen Hoops. Kristen Josin Jones, cum laude. Mohammed Kawari. Isaac Daniel Clue. Madison Raquel Lage. Nathan Edward Lubeck. Tyler Patrick Murray. Kirk James Provine. Trent Allen Lawrence Salisbury. Trevor Matthew Spleekel. Hunter Scott Thrailkill. Robert John Vos. Daniel Aaron Weens. Let's congratulate our civil engineering graduates. Well, the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering and the Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering please rise. Will faculty members Will Hageman, Sungo Kim, and Puneet Prakash please rise to greet the graduates. Dean Dawson is with distinct honor and pleasure that I present these candidates for the conferral of their degrees. With degrees in Computer Engineering, Hamza Ahmed. Shelby Danae Cohn. Matthew Hunter James Hoffler, summa cum laude. Amber Joe Schubert. Mark Allen Spicer. Let's congratulate our computer engineering graduates. With degrees in electrical engineering, Abdullah Abdul Karim, Yusuf Dawood Alderwood, Abdullah Michal Asulami, Hannah Nicole Baldwin, William Anthony Brownlee. Joseph Dunguski. Gi Fung. Corey Allen Gaither, magna cum laude. Brian Lee Gerwick. Manuel Alberto Hernandez. Henry C. Hickert. 
Gage Lee Jacobus. John Eric Laughlin, cum laude. Matthew David Legler. Jack Thurlow Match. Jun Ying Tan, cum laude. Trevor Wayne Unruh. Luke Patrick Zahner. Let's congratulate our electrical engineering graduates. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Computer Science and the Bachelor of Science in Information Systems please rise? Will faculty members Mitch Nielsen, Josh Weiss, Jorge Valenzuela, and Bill Shu please rise to meet the graduates? Dean Dawson, it is with distinct honor and pleasure that I present these candidates for the conferral of their degrees. with degrees in computer science. Tyler Caleb Aiden. Kale Douglas Benny. Haley Ann Canfield. Leah Elizabeth Devers. Kevin Matthew Dice. Mitchell John Garrett. Jeremy Scott Havice. Ryan Hughes. Sean Kirby. Brent Anthony Kroll, magna cum laude. Alice Nogop Lamb. Casey Ari Leroy Poole. Alec Philip Ruth. Jennifer Ann Sparrow, magna cum laude. Jeremy Grant White. William Lee Yeager. Let's congratulate our computer science graduates. With degrees in information systems, Sarah Jane Allen. Kyle James Eisenberger. Anson Jones. Abby Elizabeth Kramer, magna cum laude. Mark Dwayne Scott. Alex Edward Todd. Dalton J. Von Felt. Let's congratulate our information systems graduates. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Industrial Engineering please rise? Will Professors Xing Chang, Xu Ting Lei, and Ming Zhong please rise to greet the graduates? Dean Dawson, it is with distinct honor and pleasure that I present these candidates for the conferral of their degrees. With degrees in industrial engineering, Benjamin Bernard Adams. 
Daniel William Baker. Luis Antonio Coca Erdanivia. Tyler M. Doyle. Kevin Pandawa. Luke Thomas Hennis. Troy Joseph Hilderhoff. Brendan Michael Hutley. Anna Kate Kleiboomer. Candace Taylor Keeker. Malik Kajana Livingston. Ryan Joseph, Joseph Loyacano. Salvador Munoz. Anna Elizabeth Pyle. Landon Scott Root. Garrett Bradley Sanders. Samuel Crason Sizelove. Mackenzie Brianna Suderman, summa cum laude. Ramey Taylor. Dennis Taylan. Uzdil. Lauren Ashley Wagner, summa cum laude. Let's congratulate our industrial engineering graduates. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering please rise? Will faculty members Terry Beck, Amy Betts, Steve Eccles, Byron Jones, Dale Shinstock, and Kevin Wanklin please rise to greet the graduates. Dean Dawson, it is with distinct honor and pleasure that I present these candidates for the conferral of their degrees. with degrees in mechanical engineering. Ali Mohammed Agobari. <laughs> Fahad Askar al Harjuri. <laughs> Fahad Mohammed bin Jibreen. <laughs> Kagan J. Blackwell. <laughs> Jared Austin Booth. Glenn Stanley Brandon. Ty Albert James Brickell. Austin Bullinger, summa cum laude. Adam G. Burrell. Stuart Patrick Dennison. Trevor Wayne Dirksen. August Charles Dunlop. Perfect. Luke Joseph Eilert. Jacob Anthony English. Perfect. Tyler Blake Farthing. Perfect. Nathaniel Gregory Fleming. Mark Harrison Garner. Brandon Alex Haggerty. Joshua Tulloch Lodge. Cole Anthony Hoeing. Colton Eli Horn. Keith Daniel Huddleston. Brandon Lawrence Hewlett. Jackson Wesley Lage. Miranda Evan Lane. Lation Lee. 
Patrick Joseph Makatarian. Daniel Patrick Mendenhall. Alec Christopher Mitchell. David Jose Montavo. Brett Alexander Quazon. Alan John Renke. Preston Thomas Ryan. Christopher David Charlo. Samuel Robert Slotten. Bruce Edwin Stanley. Corey Don Stone. Zachary Chance Woods Stower. Connor Matthew Swope. Tanner Michael Swope, cum laude. Jacob McKenzie Terrell. Alexander Jeffrey Thompson. Joshua David Tryon. Seth J. Tucker. Chandler Scott Williamson. Jacob Robert Winter, summa cum laude. Casey Wise. John Francis Wright. Mark James Zarbanicki. Let's congratulate our mechanical engineering graduates. Graduates, please rise. By the authority of the people of Kansas and the Kansas Board of Regents, and upon recommendation by the faculty, and upon completion of all degree requirements, I am pleased to confer upon you the respective degrees that you have earned at Kansas State University. You may move your tassel from the right to the left. Graduates, remain standing and please turn to page 49 of your commencement program and recite the K-State Engineering Pledge with our Assistant Dean, Betty Grower. Please join me. 
As a graduate of the College of Engineering, I pledge to give the utmost performance, to practice none but honest enterprise, to live and work according to the laws of humanity and the highest standards of professional conduct, to place service before profit, the honor and standing of the profession before personal advantage, and the public welfare above all other consideration. In humility and with the need for divine guidance, I make this pledge. I would like to call Tyler Aiden back to the podium to lead us in the K-State alma mater. The words can be found on page three in your program. Would everyone except for our graduates please be seated? Graduates, each of you should have received a sticker on each of your chairs, so that is a sticker, so know that. Also, we know that you are anxious to meet your family and friends. However, there's one last request from you. We always take one large group photo. So come on, get together. We'll take a group photo. Uh, you, you guys can go in the aisle. You can keep. All right, excellent. You can go back to your seats. Graduates, on behalf of the College of Engineering, congratulations on your well-earned achievements and officially becoming a K-State engineer. We would ask all guests to please remain seated and do not exit until the recessional is complete. Thank you for coming. Have a very safe evening and have a very safe travel home. Thank you.